Hi guys, welcome back to another Gear Pro 101. Today our question comes from Robert. Robert was wanting a little more in-depth video on the Destroyer Pack. I actually have the Battleship here, but as we went over in a previous Gear Pro, they actually have the same compartments. The Battleship does have one extra top lid, which we'll talk about at the end. But I wanted to show it on here because the compartment's a little bigger, a little easier for the uh, camera to get a look. So we'll start at the bottom of the pack here. So just starting with the outside on both sides, you're gonna have your bottom Nalgene pocket, obviously much bigger on our oversized packs like these. But with all these side straps, this is a great pocket to put the base of a tripod in, trekking poles, other larger objects. Um, you know, if you have a spotting scope that you don't mind externally carrying, that's another great spot. You also have these mesh pockets on the side. These are great for really quick access items that you wanna stuff in there. Great for a pair of gloves you might be taking on and off, some extra gear, magazines, etc. So now let's go into the bottom part of this bag. This is the bottom access for the main compartment that goes along the whole bag. So this is a great spot for putting smaller helmets. Um, if you're talking about uh, on a camping application, this is a great area to section off for putting a sleeping bag or tent. You've got mesh in the bottom here as well. This is where your rain cover is, which is that access right through here. Each of these pack come with a rain cover that can fit over the entirety of the pack. But again, bottom section, great for helmets if you're using more of a military use, great for sleeping bags, tents for more of a backpacking use. You can either leave this completely open or have it cinched off completely separate from the main compartment. We're gonna move on to the top part of the bag here, the main part. The main compartment is a top and a front access. So we're gonna unzip the front here. This pack has so much storage in it. We've got two pillows stuck in here, as well as one of our X2 packs. But if you look into this main compartment, you'll see on either side, you'll have this elastic pockets for external carry. Then you'll have this really long mesh pouch. Again, for military use, you're looking at using this as a, as a uh, radio pouch. Uh, for camping, this is a great place to store some extra clothes up against your back here. For hunting, great place to put your game bags and kill kit. As far as the side pockets, great spot for putting a Nalgene. Um, great spot for putting bigger, more cylindrical items like bigger flashlights that you might be carrying or different med kits that you might have in a longer pouch. Great for putting them there, pretty quick access point as well. Another place you can thing you can use this mesh pouch in the back for is a bladder. Um, so at the top of this bag, you have access holes for whether we're talking radio antenna or for a bladder hose to stick through there. And then here's that cinch top access that I was talking about for this main compartment. Last, and this is just for the battleship, uh, the destroyer would have just a simpler hood pouch, but on the battleship you do get a multi-lid LP1 included with it. This is your main compartment here, just a full open. Then you have a smaller top axis pouch in the, on this black zipper for a lot smaller items. Here's your hook for putting your keys and such. And then the LP1 is really cool because on the sides here, you can pull out a simple hip belt. So that way you can use this pack separate from the main pack as a travel fanny pack. So that's why it's great for putting your bare essentials in this top lid in case you want to disconnect this and drop the pack somewhere uh, for a shorter hike from a base camp or for a stock while you're hunting. So guys, that's going to be your more in-depth overview of our battleship and destroyer pack again they have the same design as far as how they're laid out so if you guys have any more questions that require a gear pro 101 video feel free to email customer service at everlystock.com